Hey guys, Jared Bronstein here and welcome to another video here on Life's Biggest Questions. Today we'll be looking into the whereabouts of the hypothetical Planet 9. Where is it? What do we know about it? And is it even real? Well, these are all questions that we will in fact get to later on. But for now, just a friendly reminder to subscribe and click the bell icon. I'll also be replying to some of my favorite comments from a previous video at the end of this one. But for now, let's get right into the video and start talking about the incredibly intriguing Planet 9. So what exactly is Planet 9? Well, it seems no one really knows for sure. Now, it may seem silly talking about something called Planet 9 and then saying no one really knows what it is or where it is. I mean, it's obviously a planet, right? Yes, it seems that's exactly what it is. But unfortunately, we can't say for sure. Let's go back to the beginning to make sense of this mess of a situation. Back in 1846, after Neptune was discovered, there was speculation of another planet possibly existing beyond its orbit. Following decades of research, Clyde Tumbaugh continued the research of Percival Lowell and would eventually end up discovering Pluto. However, it wouldn't be before long that astronomers would conclude Pluto wasn't the planet Lowell believed existed beyond Neptune because it was too small. However, there were other theories which date back to before Pluto's discovery that may be evidence of Planet 9. George Forbes suggested there were two trans-Neptunian planets back in 1880. That means planets beyond Neptune's orbit. One of the planets had an average distance from the Sun of 100 astronomical units, which is 100 times that of Earth, while the other had a 300 AU distance from the Sun. Forbes' theory is very similar to that of more recent theories, which believe the planets would be responsible for a clustering of the orbits of several objects. The discovery of Sedna's orbit, which was discovered back in 2004, led many to believe the planetoid in our outer solar system had encountered an unknown planet in a distant orbit, which could have possibly been Planet 9. Then in March of 2014, another senoid was discovered, which had a similar orbit to the 2004 discovery. This fueled speculation that there was an unknown super-Earth far out in our solar system. That same year, astronomers Chad Trujillo and Scott Shepard discovered a dwarf planet at the edge of our solar system, which led them to believe there is in fact a Planet 9, or another unknown planet, which is larger than Earth. Then, in 2016, Constantine Badigan, a theoretical astrophysicist at the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, in Pasadena, and Mike Brown, Badigan's colleague, did more research on the unknown planet which they called Planet 9. Although not everyone is convinced this planet does even exist in the first place, it seems a handful of astronomers and researchers have their sights set on proving it does. So where exactly is Planet 9? Well, it seems no one does know for sure, but there is a ton of evidence and research giving us a good indication of where it most likely is. The belief is that this planet could be up to a thousand AU away, which means there's tons of undiscovered space, no pun intended, that needs to be searched high and low. As of now, the search has covered just 20 to 25% of premium sky, where it's believed Planet 9 may be hiding. Currently using Japan's 26-foot Subaru telescope, both pairs of researchers have also questioned if the telescope is able to capture such a small object. Now you may think if the planet is 5 to 10 times the size of Earth, how can it be so hard to see? Well, one AU is approximately 93 million miles. As previously mentioned, Planet 9 could be up to 1,000 AU away, but the most recent research has led astronomers to believe it may have an orbital distance of 400 to 500 AU. This means the planet could be easier to spot than originally thought, yet the scope they're currently using may not be well equipped enough to get the job done. But just because the planet hasn't officially been discovered, doesn't mean it's non-existent. Oh no no no. In fact, they're saying this planet may be discovered within the next 10 years if all goes as planned. The Large Synoptic Survey Telescope is expected to go online in Chile sometime in the decade of 2020, maybe 2021, 2022, and it's believed that will be the tool that will be able to capture this Planet 9 that has eluded our sights for centuries. Of course, there is the very slight possibility that the planet itself doesn't exist, but the odds are quite literally 0.1% based on science. Personally, I do believe it's out there, and it's just a matter of time before it's discovered in its entirety. So then where exactly is this planet? Well, as I previously mentioned, and if you couldn't tell by now, no one knows for sure. It's somewhere out in space, but that's also quite a vague answer. Some believe that NASA has actually captured photos of the planet without them even realizing it. In April of 2018, NASA launched its transiting exoplanet survey satellite, TESS. There's a widespread belief the satellite has snapped a pic of Planet 9, considering how it's believed to have snapped pictures of the entire southern hemisphere of space. However, if it's in the northern hemisphere, well, it's just a matter of time until it's discovered. 
Some believe the planet could possibly be hiding behind Neptune and may not be discovered for another thousand years. I don't think that is the case, as it seems most likely that, especially given how quickly we advance technology, it won't be long before we officially find Planet 9. With that being said, my best educated guess based on scientific evidence is that the planet is most certainly beyond Neptune. Although some even went as far as claiming that Planet 9 could possibly be a black hole, others are set in their belief it's a planet, which would explain a lot of unanswered questions regarding space. So to wrap this one up, truthfully, no one knows for sure where Planet 9 is. However, there is a very widespread belief it is hundreds of millions of miles from Neptune, and it will be discovered in the next 10, possibly even 5 years. So let me know in the comments below if you think Planet 9 even does exist and when you think it'll be discovered. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video, what if we had to abandon Earth tomorrow? Just some guy without a mustache said, maybe we can all take Elon Musk's Cybertruck and die together. <laughs> well, I mean, the Cybertruck has bulletproof windows, apparently, which apparently aren't actually bulletproof, but uh, at least we know we'd be safe from any, any bullets that possibly came at us. I also don't think the Cybertruck could fly, but... I'm sure that's like a feature that Elon will add in because, you know, he always adds fun things into his cars. So maybe he'll just add wings and like a rocket ship and you can just fly away or something. I don't know. It's Elon. You never know with him. Hoop Review said we would die and the rich would be able to live a little longer. I don't know why you think that. Um, I think at that point, if, you're, if, if we're at a point where we had to abandon Earth tomorrow, I think money goes out the door. I think people don't care about money anymore because it won't matter in a day. You got to abandon Earth. Money doesn't matter. You can just go back to like the barter system for those who still are alive. So I don't think the rich would necessarily have an advantage. Maybe they would, but I don't think so. Landon Crockett said, Title, what if we abandon Earth tomorrow? Me who has school tomorrow. Freedom! I would not trade that. I think I think school is much better than, than the end of the Earth. Don't you? Is school really that bad nowadays, guys? I haven't been in school for... Uh, it's been about four or five years now when I graduated college, but... Uh, I really hope school's not that bad. Nisox Demon said, let's just say all the rich people would survive and the rest would be dead. Am I right? Okay, hypothetical guys. I have a bomb shelter. Someone comes up to me, they go, I'll give you a million dollars cash if I could stay in your bomb shelter instead of you. I wouldn't be like, yeah, I mean, you know, Earth, you know, we got to abandon Earth by tomorrow, but I'll take your million cash. No problem, man. I, I need money. Like money wouldn't matter at this point because we'd have to abandon Earth anyways. So the idea that the rich would have an advantage, it's non-existent because money isn't a way to, I guess, measure status when you have to abandon Earth tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's a way to measure status, or to some people, in today's society. But if you had to leave Earth tomorrow, I don't think money would matter at all. I think it's it's survival of the fittest, but those that I could adapt the best. So whoever is really able to get into a rocket ship or a spaceship, maybe they'd be able to somehow survive. But even that, I think, is slim to none. And there you guys have it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy these space-type videos. Once again, I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. You guys have been watching Life's Biggest Questions. Make sure to subscribe. Click that bell icon to never miss a video. We got some incredible videos coming up that you guys will not want to miss out on. And we will see you guys in the next one.